Welcome everybody to the ASUS ROG Talk. My name is Thomas Kellyan, also known as Caldor. And today we're diving into the esports aspects of the ASUS ROG line in particular, of course, when we're talking about peripherals, when we're talking about keyboard, when we're talking about mice. And who better to talk to than Trilux? We already had him earlier on the stage, and I'm very happy to welcome him back. So Trilux is going to talk about everything ASUS ROG and how to become a better pro game. Hey. <laughs> Welcome more. back. Hey. Uh, we wanted to talk about esports. That's Great right. topic. When we're talking about the peripheral lineup, about the mice and the keyboard, uh, what stands out to you most with what ASUS has introduced right now? And you've been playing with a lot of those and have been testing them for a while yeah. now, if I understand correctly. Yeah. I mean, I've been playing with uh, all sorts of gaming mice over the years. And always, I ch always chose the ones that work best with my. Um, Playstyle. I mean, when it comes to the mouse, we have the uh, Harpy Ace right here. This form factor is the one that many pro players also use nowadays because it's really comfortable for most grip styles. Like for me personally, I'm a pretty tall dude. I have big hands, so I always choose the, the claw grip and play like this. I'm not sure what, what type of uh, grip you choose when playing. I have huge hands as well. I have the yeah. same. Uh, it's the same. Yeah. I mean, people play the claw, the claw grip, the, the palm grip, and this form factor is what many people choose and which uh, yeah, has risen to the top when it comes to that. And then you obviously want to have it, you want to have it as light as possible, which this one is. It's only 54 grams, I think, so yeah. it's super light. And I don't know if you remember back in the days you had gaming mice where you had a compartment where you, pu you, you would you weigh could them put down. weight inside. Yeah. <laughs> and you never see that nowadays. So right now, it, it makes sense. You do fast uh, flick shots and stuff within games. You move it a lot. And it's way easier to stop your hand and your motion when the mouse is light compared to, to a, like a brick that weighs like a kilogram. So it's way better to have a light mouse um, to play with. Yeah. One of the things that the two of us talked already a bit about and that always fascinates me these days is also when we're talking cables versus yeah. wireless. And I think reliability in particular is important there. But just traditionally, being in eSports for a long time, you're always, in the back of your head, you always have that thought, it's not reliable enough. Yeah. What if in a crucial moment, just like a millisecond, can decide a game? What are your thoughts on that? Do you still use a mouse with cable? Do you prefer wireless right now? And how has your opinion on it evolved yeah. over time, maybe? So to be honest, I was one of those guys that always said, I want to have a wired mouse yeah. for the reliability. Um, and I've just switched over to wireless gaming mouse mice about a year ago. And this right here is the one that I've been using since March, I think, or April, when it first came out, the Harpy Ace. Um, and the reason why I switched was because I saw many of the CSGO Pro players, especially when you see them at big tournaments in an arena with like 10,000 people watching, with um, cameras and studio equipment and all those signals that fly around the whole arena. And those guys don't have an issue with a wireless gaming mouse. So that, would, that should be a clear sign that there are no issues anymore with that. And if you are at your home setup, you will not find any interferences at all with your gaming mouse. So it's as fast as you would get with a wired connection, and it's really reliable. For me, it's also quite nice because I know we had uh, all the tech guys here earlier yeah. building their own PCs and making sure that they have the perfect cable management, that yeah. the cables are always hidden. I'm the exact opposite. My PC setup when it comes to cables is a total mess. And uh, really? when I'm talking about a mouse, I always get stuck somewhere. So I love yeah. that we now have the reliability in mouse like the Harpy that you have no problems maybe with that connectivity and don't all of a sudden get stuck with a cable somewhere. Yeah. Might be more of a reflection on my own setup at home, <laughs> but still it's quite nice that we now have that option. Yeah, but I mean, when we talked about the monitors as well, we talked about the KVM switch that allows you to have two setups connected to one monitor and use both at the same time. I mean, what I really liked about this one, talking about like a dual PC setup maybe, or if you have multiple workstations in the same room, you have the tri-mode connectivity so you can put this one on your laptop through Bluetooth, for example, and to your main PC through the wireless receiver. And you can yep. also just plug it in through cable. And you can switch between those connectivities and use it on three different devices, basically, which is Apart from the gaming factor, of course, really nice to have. When we're talking about like gaming and also like mouse sensitivity, aiming, and all of that, yeah. how do you get your personal settings right? What kind of software do you use, and uh, yeah. how do you work all that out? So back in the game, you would just go in-game and try it out and see what feels best. 
but this one has been made, made together with, uh, with AimLab, which is like an AIM trainer. I, I think most of you probably heard about it. It's, I think, the most renowned one. And you can go in that game and go into the settings optimizer, and you go through various um, tasks that you do to find the perfect DPI, the perfect sense for you. Um, and I did that, and it actually came out to be almost what I'm playing on right now, which makes sense because I've been playing on that sense for 10 or so years. But it's great to have that option if you start with gaming or switch to this mouse, for example. When you've played a totally different mouse beforehand, you can really fine-tune it to what you need. And also, you have the, um, the tool in the background through Armory Crate where you can also do settings like the lift-off distance, so when the mouse will trigger when you hover it on mm -hmm. front of your, on your mouse mat, for example, which is also really nice to have. And you can also say what the surface of your mouse mat is even. I didn't know about that until like two or three days ago. If you have a rough mouse pad or really smooth one, you can set it in the settings to have the best, get best gaming experience. So pretty sophisticated tool, yeah, yeah. for sure. Talking a little bit also about the keyboards, yeah. I. Uh, for example, I tested the Azoth yesterday, and yep. I was really amazed by how much of a premium feel that has right from the get-go. Yeah. So it's this one, and I've also been playing this for five months now. Mm -hmm. So just to be clear, in March or April, I had a collaboration with ROG when these two first came out, the Harpy Ace and the Azoth, and I was really imp impressed, first of all, by the build quality. I mean, when you hold it in your hand, and I guess you guys can also try in the back room over there, it feels really it's heavy. heavy. It's heavy, which makes it feel way uh, well built from the get-go. You obviously have the the LED screen on it on the top right, which makes it looks uh, look way cooler. And also, when you just press it, the feel of the keys is just superior to anything I've played on before. Yeah, I was pretty much blown away by it. And also yeah. on the 10 kilo side, I was always somebody who was more looking towards a uh, numpad there and was shying away Same. from using any of the 10 kilos. When I saw this one and played around with it a bit, uh, I was for the first time in a long time very, yeah. very tempted to maybe switch my own setup. We have another one here with a scope 2 that solves the uh, entire 10 kilo situation a yeah. little bit differently. Have you had any point tinkered around with it as well? I mean, I've played this for the last two or three days. I've just been. Uh, I just have gotten this sent over. So if you compare the sizes next to each other, it is a bit wider, of course, yeah. but you have the numpad there. And I always ha had to have a numpad on my keyboard because that's where I buy my weapons in CSGO, for example. I have my binds over there. But it cuts away a good portion of it. So we get the best of both worlds. You get the, almost the size of a 10 kilos, but you ha still have the numpad over there. And yeah, I mean, I could make this work, but I will stick to the Azoth for sure, because now that I had this form factor, I can use way much more space on my on my mouse mat. And when I have this much more, I will bonk my mouse on it. So yeah, but that's the perfect solution for you. If you want to have one with a numpad, go with this one. If you can get rid of it or you find another solution that works for you, go with the Azoth. The one thing that stood out to me in particular with this one is that if you still want the numpad and you don't want to go for 10 kilos, yeah. this is a really interesting option if you're traveling a lot too. Yeah. Because you're all of a sudden, you don't have to have a dedicated keyboard back. You can really just use that with a backpack. And yeah. just the reduction in size by that little bit is already enough that it makes it much more convenient to travel. Yeah. And I mean, the keys that you usually have in between right here, you never use those on a daily basis. I'm, I cannot even tell what they are for. I, I mean, there's the page up and page down key. I know this one, but I, I have no idea what they are used for. Print screen, all of yeah. that, exactly. So you don't really use those anyway. Yeah. So I think that's a great solution. All right. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. And we're going to see you next time. Have a great evening.